All right, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Iconic. Absolutely iconic. Rob is already making faces about this news. Uh, we have heard from The Hollywood Reporter that there is now going to be a series called Butch and Sundance for Amazon from the Russo brothers. And this is going to be starring Regé Jean Page, who, of course, is from Bridgerton. That's how uh, he mostly recently did The Gray Man. And Glenn Powell, who we know from Top Gun Maverick, who I love in Netflix has set it up. I don't care how cheesy you all think that movie is. That rom-com is adorable. I'm actually excited about this news. I really love the original Butch and Sundance. I love these two actors. But Rob, you seem kind of nonplussed about this. What are your thoughts? Look, you know, uh, it's fine. It's I, fine. I, I just think that it, it, it's, it's, I really wish, like what's Hollywood going to remake in 20 years if all we're getting is reimaginings mm. or remakes of older things? I guess as long as, the, I mean, come on, Butch and Sundance. As long as they use raindrops keep falling on my head, which is, of course, you know, that's Burt Bacharach's mm -hmm. famous song from this movie. I think it won an Oscar, but um, I, it's fine. You know, I, I just. That's exactly what you want to hear when you're like, hey, uh, I've got this show pitch for you. Fine. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's <laughs> fine. You know, it's interesting because like Yellowstone or Hell and High Water, they've sort of reinvented the Western mm -hmm. for the modern age. And I love like 1883. I thought that was great. Oh, yeah. And this could be great. You know, I, I, I hope it's great. I mean, I always want to go into everything and having it be great, mm -hmm. but it's like, I don't know, I guess because I grew up with Butch and Sundance, mm -hmm. you know, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was something I think every red-blooded American male learned about when they were a kid. I guess Westerns, you know, as long as they're making a comeback, I suppose. I would really, really love for Westerns to make a comeback. I'm a huge, like, 310 to Yuma fan and all of that. Yeah. So I would love to see more of this. But they remade that. They did. It was good. And now I thought that was a good remake. It was good. Do the Russo brothers make you a little more excited about this? Uh, you know what? The Russo brothers' track record for me is a bit spotty. That's since, fair. Since Infinity War and Endgame, which I love, but The Gray Man, I'm like, wow. Uh, great action scenes that had no point of view. Mm. That scene on the plane was one of the most, this was designed by a previous department action scene I've ever seen. That's a fair assessment. Amy, how do you feel about this news? You know, this sounds interesting just reading a bit more into it it looks like they're kind of modernizing it i'm seeing some stuff about doing it in a an alternate reality kind of united states setting and and then wanting to set this up as a uh sort of a, a starter point for other spinoffs and stuff so to me it's almost starting to feel like it's going to be you know butch cassidy and the sundance kid almost in name only yeah, yeah. uh it's which, like the dark tower it, it does almost feel like no just give me sort of a modernized western with these two if anything i think using the name is gonna put them in a little bit of a detriment of people who are either diehard fans of that movie going why are we doing this or people who don't really know the movie going i don't know if i want to see a spin-off of a thing i'm not that you know interested in in the first place but i i do think there's some interest here i mean if we're talking about pretties I'm going to watch it for the plot. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm looking at these two men going, I'll check, I'll check, I'll check it out. Oh my gosh, if only, if only they could got, get some more attractive actors in the mix here. Well, gosh. you know, the first movie had those slouchy guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Newman right. and Redford. You oh, know, my that, gosh. Paul Newman. I'm just saying, right. though, if you need someone to carry the pretty mantle, Ray A. John Page is a good place to start. <laughs> That's true. I'm proud. Nothing to... No, I wouldn't that. kick him out of bed for eating crackers. I'm just saying. I just asked him to share the crackers. Exactly. That's what you need, dog. Yeah. Well, guys, the question's up for you. What do you think of this news? Are you excited about a Butch and Sundance show? Or is this something that you wish would be left alone? Let us know your comments. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hey, guys, we want to thank one of the sponsors of today's video, Better Help. Let me ask you something. How well would you take care of your car if you knew that was going to be the only car you ever had for your entire life? Well, that's how our brains and our minds work. So why don't we treat them the same way? Because how we take care of our minds will affect how we experience life. So it's important to invest time and care into keeping it healthy. Now, there are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps, but there's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. Now, I've talked about this before, but I've never understood this stigma attached to people wanting to seek out ways to improve their mental health. When somebody decides to go to the gym to improve their physical health, we think that's great. Well, that's the same way we need to look at taking care of our mental health as well. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you're not comfortable with that. And it's much more affordable than in-person therapy. So guys, listen, right now, the John Campia Show viewers and listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash campia. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia.